Hi guys, I'm off to look at the house that I have exchanged on here in Malaysia. And for those of you that don't know, I moved here a month ago. I came here on holiday in December, ended up putting a deposit down for a house, and now I'm back here to finish the business. So today we're off, now that I've got my S&P, which is like your exchange of contracts in the, in the UK, where you exchange contracts, you put your 10% deposit down, and now really we've just got formalities that will take about three or four months, unfortunately. So in the meantime, I'm renting, but today we're off to visit the house. This will actually be my second viewing, so I'm excited. Come with me, let's go. So we've arrived here at Country Villa Resorts, and I'm gonna take you around the house inside, and then afterwards, I'm gonna show you around the, the clubhouse. It's so awesome. And we're literally on a golf course, if you're an avid golf player, which I'm not, but maybe I will become. So yeah, mine's a semi. That's kind of that much of it. Just showing mum around, come on. I think uh, front, what we do is we'll do like, um, you can put a balcony here. You know the, gla the glass, we can put the glass there and put like a balcony on the front, mm -hmm. like where you were. So let's show you inside. So this is different to the house that we're in because the one that we're in, you walk through the front door and then you've got all of the room. And this is, I told you, big windows in this house. Yeah. So this is inside, do you see what I mean? It's bigger. It's much bigger than the other house, isn't it? You know the house we're staying in, in town? No, I didn't like that. I could take so much measurements. You know? But this is why I said I've got big, big windows, yeah. So Intan is here. She's part of the girl group that we've put together to help people make the journey over. And this is Intan. Intan is the agent. But Intan is also, um, she has a small company that does the curtains. So she's here to measure my windows. I thought what I'd do here, Mum, it's here to a patio and put a little Chinese style garden, Japanese garden. And then uh, what I was going to do is shut this bit off so there's a downstairs room, Mum. Mesoja, Itoban the Gardenia, now from here. I can shut this off so we can have a separate bedroom downstairs. Yeah. So you've got the bedroom, but you've also got full shower room, look. Full shower room. So I thought that can be if you wanted a downstairs room, yeah. you can have that. And then you've got doors out. So this would be kind of formal, loungy type area. Yeah, and then here, so we have to put a kitchen. They don't, you don't get houses with kitchens here, so don't be shocked when you buy a house and there's no flipping kitchen in it. That's what you have to do, which is fine, because I'm happy to choose my own kitchen. So here, I'm going to put some kitchen units and a big breakfast bar. And then this is going to be the sofa... We'll put a dining table here, I'll put my corner sofa there, and I'll put my TV there. Yeah. And that'll be like my loungy dining, like my house in the UK. And then all that space is just kind of free. Then you've got this area here, Mum, as well. This is, um, this is where you would have, this is where you'd have if you have a maid, which I think, if my daughter comes with her two babies, I'm having a housekeeper. Here is the kitchen. But this is the maid's kitchen. So this is like the ginger wasi brownie. So we can just have like just a few units. Yeah, you have to make the kitchen yourself. Yeah. So there's a, I don't know what room really. It's just like a whatever room. And then here. So what I'm thinking is, is that this is just going to be grass, I think. It's here about grass, large or something. They do that soak away because when they have like heavy rains, because that's one of the things, the only thing about Malaysia is you have super heavy rains, monsoon, etc. So that rain's going to kind of just flow off of there. And that's the back of next door, which is, so you've got an outside water tap. That's handy, Andy. I don't know what that tap is oh, there for. Yeah. Water. And then this one here is for a um, washing machine. Oh. So you keep your washing machine outside. I was like, oh, we saw in another house, on us on, it's a chata braiana. And then they put like hanging bamboos and they put chairs here, nice chairs. And then, then they had like a little kind of, it's a jaga braidi. They had the washing machine and they had little cook areas. They did a barbecue outside. We saw that in this Chinese person's house. Right, come on then. So then you've got that. Then you've got another toilet here downstairs, yeah. which is also. So this is the storage, but it's like full room. Full room? Yeah. yeah. Except for the fees, hi. It wasn't for the stairs. Right, let me show you upstairs. Instead of Dormanzil. 
I love the fact, I was saying to you about the balustrade, because they've got glass balustrade, makes all the difference in a house. Like, if you have the standard balustrade, it just doesn't give it the same feel. And you notice the ceilings are quite high. The cables are hanging because I have to do my own fans and I have to do my own extraction. I have to do my own lighting. So I'll have to get somebody in for lighting soon. So comparing this to the house that I'm staying in at the moment over in Clebang, the landing here is a bit different, but it is only two floors. And I think I'm happy with that. Maybe later, if I feel like it, we could put a third floor on, but I just don't think it's necessary. So here again, actually, this is a big landing. This is quite a big landing, isn't it? So this is a smaller bedroom. But if there's enough bed, these are all, then I would put a bed here. And then you've got the ensuite there. Again, full, and then I'll put wardrobes there. But landing, my soja landing, it's the body, but landing's good. Here, right where we pray at the moment, this is the same size space. So that's bedroom one. Oh. Oh, it's laid out differently. So again, this is quite nice, right? This is like, put your bed here, that's it. And then walk around here to what would be like a walk-in wardrobe and then into your ensuite. And the suite's quite nice as well. You know, they've got the floating sink. They've got it all built in. They've got the alcoves there. Can you see the alcoves there for your shampoo and stuff? Bathrooms are really nice. Oh. Yeah. The best bit, this is the best bit. There's three bedrooms here. You've got a fourth potential downstairs, but let me show you the master. And actually, even though in the other house, I've got the bedroom and the outside space. So this is the master bedroom. So many windows, which is a hell of a lot. I'm planning on opening this here and then making that into a balcony. But this is the main bedroom, so we'll probably put bed here. And, or did I think about putting the bed there or there? I don't know, because I want to make office space. Yeah. Do you think this is as big as your room? Just come to see on Sotede, or? It's probably about that big, isn't it? Mum's room she's in. Yeah, check this out. Look at this. There's your toilet. There's your shower. They put the little alcoves in there. You've got a his and hers sink. But this bit's the best bit. you got a bathtub, isn't it? I did love it, though. I did like the fact they did that. And I like that as well, because um, you can't see from the outside in. But it's nice. So this is the master bedroom. Oh, me. Okay, to recap then, I have got on this top floor four bedrooms with four en suites. Every bedroom's got its own bathroom, which is pretty decent in my opinion. And then um, three of the bedrooms are a little bit smaller, but hey, who cares? Compared to the other house that we're in, I'd say they're just marginally smaller. It's no big deal though. It's just the way they're laid out and the fact that it's got its own en suite that matters, I think. Then downstairs, you've got great big living space and potential to put that fifth bedroom downstairs for my mum um, or staying guests. So I'm still happy with it. I'm very happy with it. And for a hundred and what? One mil, right? Divide that by six. That 183,000 pounds. 160, I'm wrong. I got it wrong, it's not 180. It's 166 or something. Like 166, that's mad. Okay, so normally these semi D, they uh, lift themselves. Normally okay. they, uh, Renting is the, the smaller one. Smaller one. So smaller right. one. The uh, market price is uh, one thousand eight hundred, like that. Eighteen hundred to rent one of these small houses yes. over here. Eighteen hundred yes. ringgit. So that's that's the six twelve eighteen. That's three hundred pounds. No, yeah, it's three hundred pounds. Yeah, three hundred pounds. You can rent rent one of these little units in this complex. This one is we call double story terrace in Malaysia, la. Yeah. So this is a large force bedroom semi detached. And would you could you rent it? If you rented it, how much would you get for it? I think for the empty unit, uh, around 3,000. Uh-huh. Mm, for... Furnished? Em em empty unit. Yeah, so if we furnished it all and made it nice, 
I think can go for 5,000. 5,000. Yeah. So that's pretty good actually, because the house I'm living in is furnished. Very nice. It's in Klabang. Sorry? The rent, I'm renting okay. a house in Klabang. Uh, you means the... Now I'm living okay. in Klebang. Okay, Klebang. And, yes, Klebang and renting. Okay. And I'm paying 3000 3, for four bedroom. Okay. Semi-D. One, four years or just... One year. One year, sir. Yeah. Mm, for 3000 I think a bit expensive already la, for 3000 for bedroom. La. It's fully furnished, right? Yes. Uh, I think a bit is quite expensive. La. For there? For there. Why is this area more expensive then? Okay, because you live is a condo, right? High rise or just... No, no, house. House, la. house. 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 If 3,000 is uh, okay. Yeah. And, and this area, mm. you say this house is 5,000. Yes. So is this area better than Klebang? Okay, uh, depends depends on customer. See, see uh, this one is actually for the environment. It's for in Klebang, it's near near the town area. Yes. Yeah, so different, uh -huh. different feelings. Uh. So here mm. we've got um, the golf course, we've got more greenery. Yeah, more greenery. Yeah. And, and okay. this, this unit is bigger than I think your rental I think so, yeah. yeah. It's, it's this bigger. one is semi detached. Yeah. Uh. This one is also semi-detached, mm. um, but this is definitely, definitely bigger, definitely bigger. Um, so yes, but I think the area here is definitely, is it, out, isn't it? It's a little bit out from the centre. Yes, right. Yeah. But now currently in uh, Malacca, la, all the development is coming here already. Right. Yeah, in the yeah. town does not have any places for development. Yes, uh, so they're moving out of town. Yes. We were thinking of putting a pool here, but we can't because there's not enough room and um, it wouldn't be worth putting like a, we could put a little single lane here for me, couldn't we? But the clubhouse, the pool is, we, we went past, so we're going to go and have a look now. Okay. Have a look at the clubhouse, have a look at the gym mm. and see the swimming pool. In the, the resort that we're living in, uh, there is a pool and there is a gym, but the gym is nothing, it's not very nice. Mm. So, yep, yeah, okay, cool. So one of the good things about this area is that the majority of people here are residents. Very few rent, although there are renting accommodations if you want them, but most of the people live here because it's, it's a secure complex. I mean, there's fencing and barbed wire around the outside, and that's not because it's um, unsafe. It's just so that everybody else doesn't come into your area. You live here, you own here, you can be here. Anybody else can't be, and really, for especially single females, the security, the safety element is phenomenal. You could go out, I and mean, it's a quite a large area. How many houses in this resort? Okay, currently we have only 800 units. Yes. So if we develop all these country villas resort, total is uh, 135 acres. We'll wow. around 1,400 units. Come back. So I live in Castle Hill, 15,000 new homes a whole area was built in castle hill because ebsfleet valley so this isn't far off that and i think this unit is uh second phase this this unit is uh already phase five la. total we phase have, five yeah we have right. uh, 11 phases 11 phases so this is mm. five minutes so there's plenty of houses here for any of you lot that want to come and live and be my neighbor yeah we can have our own little community going on here. This whole thing costs 100, uh, one mil, which is 160,000 pounds. I'll give you the exact figures in my So to conclude, now that we've been inside the house, this house cost 166,000 pounds to buy. On top of that, give yourself, I would say, around about uh, 15,000 pounds for your stamp duty, your solicitors, and now, this is the other thing that you have to consider. And this is why I valued this house at 200,000 myself. Because I've got no air con, because I've got no lighting, because I've got no kitchen, I'm gonna to need to furnish it. I'm gonna need beds and, you know, everything. I've allowed the total price budget to be 200,000 pounds. If you've got 200 grand, you can get yourself a house like this. If you don't wanna buy, you can rent yourself a house like this, which actually, still exceptionally spacious 
and that's 300,000. Now let's go and have a look around what the facilities are. It is exceptionally safe and secure for anyone with families. Kids can play on the street. There's nothing to worry about. The agent who is here is going to find me some more houses. So if you want something around here, let me know. It's Country Villa Resorts. Um, let's go to the park area. Come and see what else they've got. So FYI, you're going to pay about £30 per month because you've got facilities here. Let me show you. Woo! This is the outdoor area and it's about a five minute walk from my house actually because um, I'm on phase five. And you've got basketball, quite a few basketball courts over there and um, badminton over there. You've got kids play area around there. Just a nice little seating area here. And then if you come over here, it's just beautiful. The way that if you want to take a walk in the evening, you know, it's just a nice area to walk and um, just enjoy the outdoors, really. Yeah, so they've got like a pathway that goes all the way around this green. So my mum's really looking forward to taking a walk in the outdoors, finally. Breathing in the fresh air and also... Um, absorbing some vitamin D. This area is part, the reason why this area is actually quite expensive in the sense compared to being in the city centre where it's really busy is because there's a hell of a lot of greenery here, you know, all that fresh air. I'm really looking forward to it. I feel quite spoilt, but at the same time, I think 166,000, 200,000, your house is done. You, there's no mortgage, you know, and there's no council tax. Um, you've got electric, you've got water, you've got internet. That's it. That's all you need. And actually an individual that's moved here, buying a property with cash, all you're really going to need, I would say, if you have a thousand pounds income coming in, even 500 as a single person is more than enough because that 6,000 ringgits is a lot of money here. Sorry, 3,000 ringgits. 6,000 is a lot. That's a thousand pounds. You can buy yourself a car, buy your home, buy your car. You can live a nice life. Now this is the bit that interests me the most and that is the pool and the gym because so far where I've been living I've been waking up and I've been going for a swim and I can feel the difference in my breathing in my health overall. Um, I used to do weights I'm still going to do weights but I just think the swim it just keeps that stamina going so let me show you around come. So as part of your management fee you get to use this use the pool and I think you get to use the gym um, I believe there's a little additional amount of money that you would pay if you want to use both facilities at any time. I'll have to check that out, but I, I did inquire about and it costs around about 50 or 60 quid per month, I believe. I'm going to double take on that. All I remember is it was affordable and I wanted the facility. So let me show you the pool. This is a bloody awesome pool. It's I knew it was bigger. It's practically, well, it's, that's like fit one... Two, three times the pool, the one that, that, the one that I'm in. I can imagine if this is like this, what is the gym gonna be like? Hi. So I'm off to the gym, but guess what? There's a gym and there's a place to pray. Come with me. Love it, absolutely, OMG. <laughs> okay, check this out. I mean, whoa. seriously? Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. Look at that, look at that. See the smile on my face? Alhamdulillah. Come, let's look at the gym. Here, come with me into the gym. Ooh. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Right, let's see if this place is equipped, shall we? So, yes to the cables. Yes to all of this. Old weights, perfect. You've got the free weights there and you've got a Smith. Couldn't ask for more. It's a fully, fully equipped gym. It's a good gym. Um, what is the management? How Man many? Maintenance fee. Yeah. Uh, for the maintenance fee, uh, for the double story house, the small house is 80 ringgit per month. Right. The, like semi detached, your wire one is 90 ringgit per month. So 90 ringgit? Yes. And then I can use the gym and I can use the pool? Okay. Uh, 90 ringgit just only for the security fees. 
then for the maintenance landscape yes. and the facilities maintenance. Okay. Okay, for the gym and the swimming pool got uh, another fees. So uh, one month is one hundred ringgit right. per month for the swimming pool and the gym lah. Uh, so one hundred plus eighty. Eighty. Yeah. So, so that's if, it. If you want to use uh, swimming pool and gym, then you pay the one hundred ringgit lah. If uh, you don't want to use, then you don't need to pay. Right, so I think they've broken it down very nicely because if you don't want to use the gym, the gym and the pool, which understandably not everybody is going to want to do that, right? You pay 90 ringgits for my house and less for the smaller houses. But if you want to use the facilities, it's 100. So that's where that 30 pounds came into play because 180 ringgits is 30 pounds. So for 30 pounds monthly management, you get to use it all. It's worth it. Especially that pool is beautiful pool. Yeah. Isn't it? 50 feet, uh, Olympic size. But um, the deep just only 4 feet only. Only 4 feet? Yeah, 4 oh. feet around this height. Yeah, okay, well, less risk of drowning then, I suppose. But, but yeah, no, it's a very big pool. Because um, the one in where we stay now is quite small. Mm. I was happy I can go from here to here. Yeah, like, right. Yay, I've done 20. <laughs> So FYI, if anybody is looking for anything bigger, like I'm in a semi, semi D, and if you want a villa, villa, a villa is something they call that's detached. Um, they're building some over there. Um, we have to be careful with the foreigners, don't we, with the amount of land space, because they don't let foreigner buy okay. lots of land. Uh, that looks like it's got a lot of land. Mm. This one already uh, more than one million, so foreigner can buy. Okay, so this uh -huh. one is semi D, one is a uh, triple story bungalow. Uh -huh. Okay, so the land size is 50 by 80. Right. Then one is two story and one is three story. Only. Okay, land mm. the same and one is three story, one is two. Yes, right. And one is detached and one is semi detached. Yeah. Right. right. And the detached one is 1.3 million. Uh, the detached, uh, 1.8 to 2 million. Oh, okay, so detached is 1.8. And what's the floor space? Square footage? Uh, square foot. Uh, Later, so I think I mine is 3,700. Uh, three, your, your three six. 3,700. This yes. one will more bigger. Yeah. Around 4,500. Four, yeah. yeah. So that's that's if you want a bigger house, you can get that as well. Mm. They're, they're, they're building. They're, they're literally building. The semi -detail I didn't is... even know this, actually. So yes, guys, if you do want to have something like this, area like this, what I've chosen, I'm about to research on the schools now i want to know about international schools a good international school in this area i'll have a look okay yeah. i will let you know also like yes. the international school that would be really helpful uh, research yeah. Front. yeah it'd be very very helpful yeah cool. for you avid golfers out there you can live swim work out and then spend the rest of your day on a golf course literally over there